everybody. It's Friday night, and are you excited to do some stamping? Um, get on Facebook with me and join me for a little bit of a card making class. It's not really a class, it's just we're gonna make a card. We're gonna draw some winners too for some prizes, so that's always fun. I forgot to do a prize drawing after um, March was done for my top fans, and so it's a new, comp new prize drawing that I'm doing. Um, so I'm just gonna give you girls a second to get logged in with me and see if I got this going right. Usually it takes a couple seconds for people to see that this is going and see if I got it. So hang tight. Let's get your girl. I'm trying to find my Facebook page here too because I like to follow along. So just give me a quick second and see if you girls can see me. Hang tight. Is anybody there? Oh, Angela's there, yay! Hi, Angela. <laughs> You're always the first one on. I'm so proud of the card that you made for the monthly challenge. I love all the little detail that you put into it. Hi, Patty. Um, you girls, if you, um, Patty, there's um, on my Facebook page, I was just talking about Angela's cards you made. I started doing a monthly challenge Hey, Mary, <laughs> I'm doing good. Thanks for joining tonight. This is gonna be really, really good. So I was just talking about um, Angela. She, hey, Peggy, Angela made a card. And so I started a monthly challenge and I want you girls all to submit cards. This is gonna be fun and inspiring and um, really foster creativity. You just have to go to my Cards by Christine Facebook page and it's gonna be always the top post and it's the monthly creative challenge. And Angela posted a card there and it's so adorable. Um, you just have to go look it up. I can't pull it up to show you guys here, but, uh, well, maybe I can. Let's see this. Okay, let me see how this works, girls. So if you go, I'm gonna flip down here. And what you have to do is go to my Cards by Christine page and there is a monthly creative challenge. And in here, you can see the card that Angela made. And I know the lighting might be a little bit crazy. Let's see if I go like this. I'll go like that. But it's full of all the critters from Bonanza Buddy. She's got a little bunny. She's got the little meerkat. She's got a bee in there. And it says, no matter the weather, we're in this together. And that is so true, isn't it? Oh, we've got all these crazy times going on. Hi, Karen. Hi, Dawn. Thanks for, for joining us. Angela Fussy cut all that, she said. So I was just so excited. So that is the first card that's been submitted into the competition. And so Kelly, my cousin, and I are going to, what I really wanted to do was at the first class of the month that I would have, um, we take a poll for, and everybody would like secretly vote for their top favorite cards. But I don't know what we're going to be doing in the beginning of May. So so we're going to see. But So Kelly and I might pick our favorite cards. We might vote for our top three. And then whoever gets the most points is going to win a prize. I like giving out prizes. So Angel, thank you for being the first one to submit into this contest, which is the first ever contest that I'm doing like this. So I'm super excited. Thank you for being the first one. So, all right, how are you girls doing? Give me a shout out. Tell me um, where you're watching from or something exciting you did to, for today. It was um, usually a Good Friday is a day that people have off. I was so excited. I did have off. And you know what I did all day? I stamped and I, I did some prepping for card kits and I did lots of die cutting and embossing for them and I prepped them. So I'm gonna just show you girls really quick what I worked on. I'm gonna put my camera down here. So look at all these card kits that I made. I did all the prep work for my monthly cards that I could, a lot of die cutting and embossing on them. So um, all these people signed up for the class, so like 10 of them were my club class that normally come in, but then all the rest of these girls, I'm so excited. So it gave me a lot to work on today. So that's super, super, super awesome. So I honestly, I haven't submitted an order into Stampin' Up! yet this month. It is the 10th and I haven't put an order in and I'm so excited that one person who signed up for the class put an order in today for her cards and I got my first order. Who would ever have thought with all this craziness that that's, it's like it would take 10 days. Yes, Peggy, you stopped over. <laughs> that was your exciting bit for the day, I bet. <laughs> 
Peggy had two orders that she needed to pick up. They were from last month and it took a little bit for the shipping because everything it seems is delayed. So Peggy stopped over. We did practice social distancing. So we, we made sure to try not to come within six feet of each other. So Dawn, you worked all day and morning. Oh no, Naughty Nancy's in the house. Yay, hi Naughty Nancy. So Naughty Nancy, you need to get down into your stampin' room and start crafting, girl, get on that. So. Um, oh, so yeah, so I prepped card kits and, uh, what did I do? I had to run some stuff out to a trailer out by my parents and did some essential stuff. So, um, that, yeah, essential stuff. I was working on some good stuff. <laughs> I stayed away from people. That's basically what I did as much as possible. So, all right. So I want to tell you girls a little bit about the monthly challenge we talked about, but there's another thing that I added on to, um, a prize for a monthly prize and that is the top fan badge. So as of the end of last month, I had four top fans and I checked it on the first. Um, it might've been the 31st or the first, I checked it and I had four top fans. A top fan is somebody who likes and comments and shares a lot on Facebook. And so at the end of March, it was Diane, and Cindy, I washed my hands. So I know you just saw me do that, but I just did wash my hands. <laughs> All's good. Um, Cindy, um, Bonnie, and Tammy. So the four of you girls are gonna be in for a drawing for a paper snip. So I looked just now and I have a lot more than four top fans. So some of you girls are really rocking it. I really appreciate the support. Um, so Ruth said her family sang happy birthday to her mom oh, through the window. She's 91. So that is super, super awesome. Yay. Kelly, your employer did the same. Okay. That's awesome. Surprises yesterday and give us the day off. Oh, that's perfect. So days off are good. So, but yes, going back to the top fans. So I see that Bonnie, there's another, so there's two Bonnies in my life, Bonnie Brown and Bonnie Lesperance. And so now both Bonnies are top fans. Karen Wettstein, you're a top fan. Angela, you are, I still have Cindy and Sue and Diane and Tammy. So we've doubled the top fans. So at the end of April, I'll do another drawing for a top fan and it'll be random. I'm going to do it right for you in front of the camera. So I'm going to do that at the end though. And then the other thing I wanted to tell you is last night's Facebook live, I offered a half off of the product Medley Botanical Gardens. Hi, Diane. Thanks for joining. Kelly says, I need a new paper snips. <laughs> yes. Well, so if you know me, girls, like I have three paper snips for glue, ribbon, and I lost my paper one, so I got a new paper one. So my three paper snips are what I use. So it doesn't hurt to have an extra pair of scissors, especially like if you have a little tool bag or if you have like where you craft upstairs just to have them in multiple locations. So uh, the other thing I wanted to mention is the product medley. So I went through the kit class last night and I showed everybody the product medley. And so I, I for sure saw two names of people that were interested in the botanical, oh, what's it called? Botanical prints, I think product medley. So I'll flip down real quick so you can see. I'm giving this whole product medley away. Not this one, but a brand new one. <laughs> My, this one's open. This one's mine, but it's a $70 value and it's $35 with shipping and tax. So it'll be like around $40. So I will offer it again tonight. So I'm going to go through um, both this Facebook feed from this video and also the one from last night. And if you mark in there or comment in there that you are interested, I will put you into a separate drawing to get that for half off. So yay, exciting stuff. So um, make sure you like, comment, and uh, if you can share this Facebook, it's the Facebook video, this is awesome. I really appreciate it. So, all right, Diane, I love the idea of making them, yay. So, okay, so what I have for you tonight. Um, oh, I wanna show you a couple things too. So I don't know when this class is gonna be, but last week I showed you, which ones did I show you? I showed you these two. Okay, so there's a new suite of products, like a super suite, that's gonna be available in the annual catalog. And I showed you these last week. And maybe you didn't see them if you didn't catch that particular live, but uh, these are two of the cards that are part of a class that I'm gonna offer. So those were those two. And these are the other two that I made. I don't remember if I did it last night or the night before, but this one's cool. It's got a cute little fold to it and there'll be an inside piece. But that one, and then the daisy is so pretty. So 
These four cards, I mean, they're just so pretty when you put them all together. I'll move that down. All these four cards are gonna be a class. And I'll be honest with you girls, I wanna have this class in person. <laughs> so, and plus it's new product to, for the annual catalog. So I'm gonna try not to put it on the schedule quite yet, but I am very proud of myself that I have cards made for a class before I even have the class. <laughs> that, so Angela, <laughs> that was what I was working on instead of getting ready for a bingo or the retirement party. So uh, now that I've got that out of my system, because I was really looking forward to stamping with that product. So now I got that out of my system, I can start working on other stuff. So yay. Okay, so back flipping down. So girls, you're gonna have to help me out. I think that, oh, Patty Spurlock, you're interested. Okay, cool. I will make sure to add, thanks for sharing, Karen. Patty, I'll add your name to my list of names here for that. So, okay. So this is the card I cased. And um, if you remember this, it was called, I believe, Sheltering Tree. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but Sheltering Tree, I think. Or um, maybe not. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> do I have instructions? In oh my gosh, do I have instructions? I do. Let's see if my instructions tell me. I keep these little recipe cards in here. Uh, I put in bunch of blossoms and sayings. Okay, so no sad face. Um, so this was the technique that I saw that I wanted to to share. So, oh, thanks Kelly, like my cards. <laughs> so this is the technique I wanted to share. And I, for some reason, thought it was called double time technique. Peggy's interested too, cool. So it's called double double time technique, but maybe it's not. So if you know this kind of technique as something else, let me know. Um, put it in the comments and help me stay positive, like stay correct. But none of the stamps on here are current, so I didn't want to make a card for you with some retired product. But this is how I wanted to show you how I cased a card. I went back through my archives of boxes of cards and I found this one and then I made this one. And this one uses current product. And I'm not gonna make it exactly like this for you tonight. I am gonna change the color and I'm gonna flip around the rotation. I'm gonna rotate some of the stamps. So, but it's just showing you how you can be inspired from one thing and then make it into something else. Oh, Karen's interested too, cool. I'm seeing all this stuff and I'll roll back through the comments and also um, make sure I get everybody in on that. And we'll do that drawing on Monday night. Okay, so this is what I wanted to show you. This is called casing, copy and share everything. So I copied a card that I had already made and I probably cased from somewhere else and made this new one. Okay, so let me get this out of the way. And we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this card tonight and I'm gonna give away the card that we make um, to a lucky winner who um, is following the video. So, okay, so the stamps that I use for this, um, absolute must. I don't know if you girls have this. Hi, Rhonda, thanks for joining. I'm not sure if you girls have this or not, but you definitely want it. I know Diane has it. My Meadow, Diane made two beautiful cards and I should have pulled them out, but they're two beautiful cards uh, using this from our, I'm trying to look for them. Oh, I found one from our team swap party. And I have one right here. Oh, I have them both right here actually. So let me pull them out just so you girls can see. I have my swap boards or my display boards behind me. So, so this is called My Meadow. It's in the mini catalog in here. And these are the two cards that Diane made for our team swap party. So when you're on the Cards by Christine team, I do a, I host a team swap party and you get to pick a stamp set from the current catalog or the new catalog and you make two cards and then one for everybody that participates. But she used all the stamps and in here she pulled in like the coastal weave embossing folder and the stitched rectangles. And in here, I am so excited she used, I don't know if you can see it, but she used the stitched rectangles in this card as well. Here she used the stitch rectangles and the subtle. Diane, you did a fabulous job making these cards. I'm so proud of you. You did great. I love the colors and you just stamped them so awesome. So this is my meadow. So if you don't have this yet, get this on your wish list <laughs> or um, order it for me at a class. Get your cards for free when you uh, come to my, one of my classes online. Oh, Karen has it and she used it. So this is one of the stamp sets. Then I pulled in Morning Star and I wanted to use You Are the Best. So here's You Are the Best. And I wanted to, to use this stamp because I want to tell you girls, you are all the best. You are all fabulous. You just hang in there. We're going to get through this. And I actually was thinking of Wendy Ellison when I made this card too because Wendy is homebound. She has a weakened immune system. And so she keeps posting that her kids are coming over with masks on and doing work for her around the house and taking care of things and doing upkeep for her. And she can't really be in contact with them, but 
from a distance. And so I thought of you with this card because your kids are helping you out and you could send them a note that says you are the best. So that was that. And then here's the last stamp set that I pulled in and it is another must have. It's called Waterfront. And I pulled in the grass along the, like the whooshy grass down here from that set. There is one more stamp set that matches these two. It's called Snowfront. And those three are awesome when you, you can use all three of them together. They complement each other so nicely. So I'm going to set those off to the side. And you can see I got my hot mess of stamps over here. And I got all the inks that I used here. So let's go ahead and get started and make this card. And I'm going to show you how... I made this card, I used early espresso as my card base, and I didn't know what color I was gonna make the flowers until I had the whole card made and I had to stamp the flowers a color. And I'm like, what color should I make them? And I'm like, purple, it's my favorite color. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, it goes good with brown. So, um, oh, Julie's time for bed. Yes, I know I thought bad about going to live so late, but I'm sure Naughty Nancy's really happy because she's a night owl. <laughs> so, okay, so we're gonna make this card. Where should I set it? I'm gonna set it right there so you guys can see it. Okay, so we're gonna do a quick card and then we're gonna do a drawing. So here we go. We've got a piece of early espresso. It is five and a half by eight and a half. A typical card base when it's cut in half, um, like the on the short, well, that's on the long side, but um, you just do folding in half. Now, in this case, I did not have the card base scored. That's okay. When you cut the paper like this, the grains of the paper allow you to, to fold it without getting those little creases. But you still wanna grab out your bone folder and burnish your edges. And so that's our base. Now, you see what I almost did? I almost held my card like this and I realized that it was a horizontal card. So, okay, just be careful with that. So that's our base. Now, we have an inside. And I always like to decorate the inside to match the outside. So that's one trick is you have to stamp, them. as long as you have the stamps out, you might as well stamp them all at the same time. So what's very important with this is these two pieces are, they're almost the same size. And so when I made my sample, I did what some of you guys do in class. I accidentally made my outside scene with the bigger piece and I had to cut it off. And so I lost some of my tire when I cut it off because I wasn't paying close attention. So, so this is gonna be our inside and that's gonna be our outside mat, okay? And the Highland Heather is just four by five and a quarter. It's just your traditional mat. Hi, Shar, thanks for joining in. Okay, so you have your traditional mat for that. Um, that's the same size as the inside piece. Now, these pieces, I believe, are four. Let's grab the ruler, just so you girls, in case you wanna know. I, I knew it was one and three quarters, so let's just go here. So that's one and three quarters that way, and I have four and a half this way. This is my triple A ruler I got probably eight years ago <laughs> when they still had you coming in. <laughs> so four and a half by one and three quarters. Now then this vanilla, and I actually used vanilla, I didn't use white. So, and this one is one and a half and it's at four and a quarter. So you have the measurements for that. All right, so how many of you have ever made a card like this? Do you know what the trick is when you make a card like this? I'm just gonna layer these guys so that they're on the right colors. Um, the main thing that you wanna make sure you do, this goes here, that goes there, that goes there, and that goes there. Okay, so the main thing that you do when you are making a card like this is you have to adhere this down onto your, um, your mat, but you don't wanna do it in such a manner that you tape it down and you can't pull it up. So this is where the snail comes in. I don't use snail a lot. Most of you who know me that come to class in person know that I barely, very, very rarely use the snail. But in this case, I am because I only want to put a little bit of tack um, in like three spots. And I put, you can just barely see it like that. There's like one, two, three. They're super, super like little. Um, and the reason that you're doing that is because you want to put this down and then eventually you're going to pull this back up so that we can put this brown mat on the inside. So that's why you only want to put a little bit. Okay, so then this, what I'm trying to do is position that. And I am so crazy here, like that is so crooked. I gotta grab my baby trimmer. <laughs> 
It is like, like, let's look at this. Uh, not that side. It's got to be this side. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, way crooked. So, let's just straighten that out. Wow. Did you see how crooked I have that? So, <laughs> now you know when you come to class, sometimes you get kits that might have some crooked paper. It's not intentional. I almost did it to myself, like, by that much. Okay. I could see it when I put it down on here. Okay. So, put that down. Uh, we're going to say right about here. And now we're just going to paint our scene. Like, I feel like an artist. Um, hi, Karen. Um, I feel like an artist when I am using these sets. Um, these, like, they're watercolor washi sets. So, so this is the early espresso ink. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip my tree in here. And now, I said I'm going to do things a little bit different. I'm actually going to put my tree on the other side this time. I want to see what it looks like. Uh, when I put the tree on the other side. So I'm going to stamp this right, right about here. And when you press, it's a good idea to press right where that seam is, uh, where the paper meets right here, okay? That's what's important when you go around the edge. So we're done with this one. I'm gonna set that off to the side. We're done with this color for right now. So I'm gonna shut it up and we're gonna go to the green. The green that I'm using is Granny Apple Green. And the, the grass is coming from the waterfront stamp set. And what I do with the granny apple, so on this one, I used old olive because the card that I cased was more like a fall card. So I was using old olive. But then as I started thinking about it, I'm like, ooh, this is more of a spring card. Let's have more cheerful green going on, like a little bit brighter. So that's why I'm gonna try this. So I'm, I just, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm gonna try it in Granny Apple. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna stamp at first strength. And it's awesome because these are the photopolymer stamps. And then I'm gonna stamp at second strength and get some two-tone grass action going on. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is do another one here. And then I'm gonna flip. Now, if I would have stamped that again, I would have ended up with this weird like dark line through the middle because of how I did that. So what I'm gonna do is stamp off and then I'm gonna actually stamp second strength on the top of that. So now I filled in my bottom part of the grass and then there is this little stamp that has all these little like liney uppy downy things that are like grass. <laughs> so I don't know if you can see that but I'm just gonna fill in a few of them on here. It just adds a little bit of texture. Okay, so we're gonna do one there. Okay. So one more down here. All right, so that was in Granny Apple again. Now we're done with that one for just a bit. We're gonna go and put our espresso, we're gonna put our wheelbarrow. Oh, girls, are you gonna laugh at me or with me? Okay, do you remember what I just said? When you stamp the outside, make sure you stamp the inside. So <laughs> do I ever follow my own advice when I'm doing it myself? Probably not so much. So this is what I'm trying to show you. Stamp your inside when you're using that stamp and then you you're done you don't have to pull it you don't have to pull it back out okay so there we go now we're caught back up all right i'll just leave that open because we are going to use it again right away so i wanted to do the wheelbarrow next so what i'm going to do is the wheel and the like wood rim part we're just going to stamp that down here and this time i'm going to put the wheelbarrow so it's sitting in the grass over here like that okay so that's good and then the bucket to the wheelbarrow, I am using basic gray. And this thing is awesome. I'm so happy they made these in photopolymer because all you have to do, I gotta stand up to do this. How many of you need to stand up when you stamp? Okay, just to see. Okay, so right there's that. And then don't forget your inside. What I do with these is I kinda hover over the top of it till I see exactly where it needs to go. And I'm never really exact, but I, I try the best I can. So now we're gonna do the flowers in our wheelbarrow. So this is the Highland Heather. And I'm gonna put that right on the top. Now make sure you do this the right way. Um, when you use the stamp, the flowers do, there's an up and a down because the leaves fit in them a certain way. So we should be done with the purple. And now we're gonna grab back the granny apple the leaves actually nestle inside the flowers now. So if you stamp them upside down, like I think I might have, ha ha ha, hang on, let's, <laughs> I think I may have. We're just gonna, oh, I did, oh my goodness. 
So, yep, they're supposed to go like that. And then the leaves <laughs> fit in them. So, you know what we're going to do? We're just going to do some more like that. And we're going to do some more like that. And there, it looks pretty. Yay. <laughs> Fill it in. Boom. It's like a barrel full of, or a, a wheelbarrow full of flowers. Okay. All right. So far, so good. We still need the green to do our tree. Okay, so did you catch what just happened to me there? The flowers go a certain way with this. So make sure when you are using this at home that you practice before you do it. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll have that happen to you. Ah, oh, see? All right, so we're going to do now the... Okay, so the, the tree foliage part is a little stamp. And so what you have to do with this is... I go first, second, first, second, first. But now I'm not gonna go and do a second because there was a line right there. So you have to be very careful when you do the edging on here. So you can do a second if your first is completely on the layer, okay? So we're just gonna fill in here with second and first strength. I'm going to flip out to the edge here a little bit. You'll see why it's cool to do that. I'm making a very, very full and big tree here. Because it's such a small stamp, you just got to keep going back and forth with it. Okay. And just a couple more here. And you're wondering, wow, that tree is really full for all the little branches it has. <laughs> so I've got a trick for you with this. So just hang tight. I'm going to fill in just a couple more here. And do one there. And fill in a little there. And bring out just a little here. The other thing, too, that's important is to be altering the stamp in circles as you do it so that you don't get the same edging to it. So you see I got an edge here, edge here, edge here. What I'm gonna go back and do is round that out a little bit. See, I got the same thing going on over here. So go back and fill in the gaps a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna come down here a little and go up there. Okay, so now you've got this very big and like beautiful tree. And I saw that and I'm like, Whew, like that little like tree branch is really holding all of that up. That is crazy. So what I did here is my trick for you girls. So you have to make sure that you clean the stamp really good. So take your chamois or take your wet wipes or your stamp and scrub, whatever you use. Clean your block and then dry it really good. And now what you're going to do is you're only going to have um, um, ink up the top half of it. So like so, and then you're gonna stamp off at, and get it at second strength. And what I did is I'm just building more branch in here to make it look like the tree has, <laughs> like the leaves are actually growing on something, right? Okay, and the reason I'm doing it at second strength is I want it to look like it's filled in and not so pronounced like the main one is. And maybe it would be okay to do it at the full strength, but you can see what's happening now is you're seeing branches come up through it. So it looks even hardier and healthier. So I think I'm gonna just do one more near the top up here, but there you go. That's just showing you how you can get the branches coming out. And now again, um, <laughs> oh no, Patty, your phone died. That happens to me a lot throughout the day. I don't know what is going on, but my phone dies a lot faster than it used to. So if you want to try this at home, you could definitely try to see what it looks like at first strength, filling it in. But I, I like the softer look of the branches. So, okay, so there's my little trick for you on how you can make that little pokey stick tree actually look a little bit fuller. But before I close that up, <laughs> I already closed it up, I'm going to stamp my sentiment here. Girls and boys, you are the best and believe that. I'm so happy to be here stamping with you. And you make my days brighter too. <laughs> because of you, I wash my face and put makeup on <laughs> and change my shirt. <laughs> I don't know if I would do that, honestly. <laughs> I think I would, but who knows? I might go a day or two. But anyway, so there's that. So we've basically done all of our stamping on here. And now what you're going to do is gently pull this off of here. 
And because we use such little amount of tape on there, it just kind of pops right off. And you're gonna put a little bit of liquid glue on the back of this one. And pop this right on here. Now again, like this is just an idea for you to show you a cool technique. And maybe you've seen this technique before, but to me, this looks like a portrait hanging on a wall. Okay, so now that that's done, what you're gonna do is take your dimensionals. And I have these big dimensionals left over from my kit that I put together last night. So I'm gonna use some of those. And then that's gonna go onto this mat here. All right, you girls doing okay? I saw some new people join. Hi, Stormy. All right, so this is gonna go right over the edge here. Now you see why I tried to get that tree to come out this far? That was so that, because I knew that that brown layer was gonna take up an eighth of an inch on each side, and I wanted to make sure that I could see it. Okay, so flip that over, and then, <laughs> see what I did? <laughs> this was what I, I, cause I flipped my other sample over here. I had this as the inside and the other, so yeah. So <laughs> I'm covering it up, girls. See, there's two sides to every paper and I, <laughs> I utilize that and I live by that statement. So, okay, so far so good. I'm loving the purple with the brown. I was having a really hard time with the, um, if it was pink. So I got a little spot there. This is where the little um, sand eraser comes in handy. So I don't know if I got like a little brown on there from the sentiment or what it was, but so there, and now grab your card base, grab your liquid glue back, and we're gonna glue that, and then we're gonna glue our inside. So as long as I have my liquid glue open, I like to maximize that and get glue on all the things I need. Open up your card, make sure that you put it on the right way, not that you make a trick card. Trick cards are fine. You can still send trick cards out to people. I actually, when I glue things upside down, I am strategic about who I send them to. I send them to people who will get a kick out of it. <laughs> so I've, I've done that recently, actually, and she was like, it made her laugh. <laughs> so, all right, boom, okay. So I am loving the Granny Apple Green on this card. It is a lot more, it pops. Like, so here's the difference, okay? Like, same amount of stamping, pretty much. I was a little hesitant about putting the wheelbarrow facing the tree, and here I have it facing away from the tree. So I, after I made this card, I was like, okay, I really wanna see what it looks like flipping it. But how'd it turn out? Yeah, is it good? I'm hoping you like it. I, I would love somebody to bring me a wheelbarrow full of purple flowers. <laughs> so, so this is just an example of how you can case a card. Um, this one's more of a fall card. And then I made, I tried to make more of a spring card with this one. So this is my prize for tonight. Um, I'll randomly choose somebody from whoever likes, shares, comments, and I'll put this in the mail to them. I won't write in it. I'll just put a post-it note in here with a thank you. And I appreciate you girls sticking with me. This is my, um, this is my third week in a row. I've done every weekday for five, for four, five days for three weeks. So this is my 15th live with you girls. So super exciting for that. So yay. Okay, so this is the card that'll be the prize. Now, I told you that I wanted to do a little bit of a live drawing and some of you joined in a little bit after the fact. And I wanted to just um, say that I, I'm doing a monthly drawing um, I like the one you just made. Me too. <laughs> Hi, Dara. Thanks for joining. Dara, I have, I, I think I might have messaged you. So first of all, when I went live, I wanted to show you girls. This is what I worked on today. I made all of the card kits for all of the people that signed up for the monthly class. And these two are extra. So I made 22 for people and I made two extra. So if anybody wants to sign up for the monthly class yet, I have um, two extra sets. And if you have signed up for the class. I will have the kits ready tomorrow morning for you. Um, I actually had to move my bronze garden hose container to my front porch. It's not that you go to the back. I have a little work being done in my garage tomorrow. So um, just make sure you just park in the front and come up to the front door for it. Um, keep the live show coming. Great. Rhonda loves them. So so yeah, so anybody that needs to pick up card kits tomorrow for the monthly class, they're going to be on the front porch and the live is going to start at six o'clock on Monday night. And I can't wait to do those three cards with you. And then for tonight, we're gonna do a live drawing. 
So my top fan badges here. So at the end of March, I had four top fans. They were Tammy, Diane, Cindy, and Bonnie. And so you girls, I'm doing a drawing for my top fans. So as of right now, though, like Angela's in there, Bonnie's another Bonnie, and like my other, I have two Bonnies in my life. So both Bonnies are in there. So just know at the end of March or end of April, I'll do another drawing for uh, the top fans. And to become a top fan, you just have to like, comment, and share a lot on my Facebook page. And so I am giving away a paper snip to one of these four lucky girls. So girls, do the drum roll, please. I can hear you at home doing like that, like we do in class. Okay, who's feeling lucky? I gotta say, I, somebody's gotta say it. All right, it is this one right here. Okay, who it is, who it is, who it is, who it is, it is Tammy. All right, congratulations, Tammy. I know that you're stopping over tomorrow and you're picking up your card, so I will put the paper snips in there for you. So excited for you. I like giving away stuff. So I haven't done the drawing um, for last night for the four cards yet that we made in the kit class. So I will be doing that. I'll probably do that Monday night too. So, all right, girls. I hope you enjoyed a little late, late night Friday night stamping. I kept it to close to a half hour, so that was good. Um, Monday night's the online class, and then we'll do some more technique stuff on uh, Wednesday and Tuesday, and probably Thursday, because I am not going to be doing a bingo on Wednesday night like I had put in my schedule, and I won't be do doing the retirement cards on Thursday like I put in my schedule. I'm going to rearrange that. I've been slacking working on other things like week daily Facebook Live, so um, I know that you'll forgive me, so <laughs> we'll get to those other classes, though. But anyways, you girls have a great, great Friday night. Happy Saturday. I have a blessed and wonderful Easter Sunday, no matter who you're with or what you're doing. I know it's going to be a little bit lonelier than it has been in years past, but no, it's just a period of time and we're going to get through this. And a year, a year from now, we're going to be looking back and thinking, wow, we, we really went through all this crazy stuff. So, all right, girls, I love you. Thank you for joining. Sunshine and happiness to you always. Love you. Bye.